Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Tell me, Davey, you expense this ride to the taxpayer? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Help! Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You know what? 
You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit! <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad. Right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down? You can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped back. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pack. I'm going in on the west side of the tower. Get us in position. I'll drop. Just deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no. fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. The, the world room. thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station chief. I'm not finished with Mr. K. 36 flow. I got you. Unacceptable! Help! 
shooters across the street! Don't let those drop me! Don't let those drop me! Hey, we need to be clear of this building! Hey! Dooley! I'm not leaving here until you shoot those guys! So get moving on it! I knew you were a liability, you fucking turd! Holy crap! <laughs> it ain't me trying to shoot you, Mikey! I'm sleeping! I don't like this! Stop your whining! You're like a chubby, stubbly, hormonal teenage girl! Help me, please! I'm crying, alright? That's it! Get us out of here! Roger that! Whoa! Looks like we've attracted the attention of their air unit. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin! I thought I had the easy job. An attack on U.S. government agents is an act of war. We are clear to engage you. So long. Hey, to chop us down, huh? Nice one, kid! Land immediately or your aircraft will be forcibly grounded. He's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. 
Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. Just said the same fucking thing to my wife. See his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Uh -huh. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? them, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, no, no. Because no, no, I'm no. tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo hoo 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 for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. Stop! Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of the... I can like this car! Anyway. Any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. 
Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or... We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. If the money ran out, this is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy is an our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. I got it. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Some water. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just tell me what you want! Ah, huh, man? Ah, huh, please! Look at me, please! I can't legally tell you to do this, but do it! I, I don't know what this is about! Let me find it! Please don't! I just have the blazer! Are they still alive? Best way to make a man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much! Mr. Phillips! Ask him about Tahir Javan. What did you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. <laughs> he lives in Chumash. The right on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember. Terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? 
A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you want him to up. Know. No, please. The anticipation is always worse. Really? Oh! <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Is it the small? Watch the knee! Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk. Oh, it's the day I, I got to give now. The sick of the That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This talk. guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. What? I was height. Middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. That. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Oh. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too oh. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! Motivate him already! How many volts do you think they got running through these things? Not the clips! Not the clips! Don't do it! No clips! My heart! Did you see his face when I did that? <laughs> so what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 He's got beard. He's got beard. Uh huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. No. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. she beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's giving us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we uh, just take two bullets and put them in our Please, no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters, we need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he's, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. I will drown. I will. I will drown. Say this. No, torture. My mouth. I, I will drown. Oh, 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 oh. I don't see
see what all the fuss is about, personally. <laughs> Alone! Alone! So Always by the book. That's my mind. Yep, he comes. <laughs> the black news is terrible! Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless! <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davy, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just... Watch me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on. Up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. I mean, you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Tortures for the torturer! Or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times! We should all admit that! It's useless as a means of getting information! I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Uh. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. It'll be... Uh. 
Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. You step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior. Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where's Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you! <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You wanna be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come Who on, is this man? fool, man? What is this nigga Man, just problem, come man? on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you and stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not that's real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, old boy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. This the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Hey, be on point. This fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me, give me the... Give me the... Back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask 
for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. You can't fucking hustle a hustler.
What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes. She's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this one. I anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too. Please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Oh, come, come, baby. Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubt. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pole. Alright. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. The anus, Michael. Remember the anus. Air through the nose and out the mouth. Just exhale, Michael. There. Strong. Like an erection of your youth. In and out with the breath, Michael. Isn't that far better than booze and nicotine? In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Let it out, baby. Feel all that hostility, insecurity, and self-centeredness drift away. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Feel that the emotion inside. Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. The silly man forgets to breathe. Out through those wrinkled lips. Now think of all the strippers who've been over to pick up your dollar bills. Breathe, Mikkel. Eight core strength for someone who's totally rotten there. Now, you breathe. Exhale. There. There it is. You can breathe, can't you? Are you taking this seriously, or is this some elaborate way to get at me? Uh, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm, he may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm -mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. 
Mike, would you? <laughs> Put the lunar to the face. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Breathe out, please. We need to talk to the kids about having a family session. Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it out, you're turning red. There! Take in the air and release it. Can you wash that mat later? It's gonna smell all bloody and smoky and michaely. Breeze, please, my kid. If it's too much, just go into child's pose. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out. Okay. Your lungs, they work, yes? Your inner eye. Take in the air and release it. Let it go. Not bad. <laughs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward door. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, mm. oh, 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 oh! What? Hey, enough of that shit! Ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikael. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh yeah, fuck you! You know what, if there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you like that sort of shit, and then I'll just rape your mom instead! Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on, I wanna go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I wanna get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on! This is fucking bullshit! Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies! They're the only people you speak to! So where's your friend? Burger shot? Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries... Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliché. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But... Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You brought me here, Michael. Hello? Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You'll see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, then you're probably the biggest idiot here. Wake up! Oh, 
What did I bring into this world? You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, man, what's, man? Up? what's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful man. with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really? This is not normal. No. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Would you quit being such a drama queen and get us to the house? I gotta stop. Oh, who was in there? It's harmless. Bets have been using it for what? decades. You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account, and I'm moving what? out. All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy!
Jimmy, you little shit. Hello! I'm back! Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Amanda.